that having a constitutional right to privacy is unnecessary and counterproductive. But before we move on to our case proper, firstly we would like to clarify that we don't stand simply for the courts and statutes that are already protecting privacy in the state. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Constitution is the great blueprint of society. It establishes and regulates government institutions to protect public order and decency. So basically what we have here is the opposition who agrees that the Constitution sets a legal precedent for our laws and therefore they empower and reinforce the existing laws on privacy. So my question to the opposition then, does the opposition agree that as they mentioned in point C, paragraph 1, that a constitutional right is a fundamental, overarching right that supports the aims of a society as a whole. What is the function of the courts that they are not to interpret law? All right, um, I think it's not that it, they can't interpret law per se. It's that we think the nature of this interpretation should be whether what has happened in the real world meets the criteria of the crime. So my, my first speaker is giving an example of, say, harassment. So for harassment, there needs to be a few criteria of which I'm quite sure intent as well as significant intrusion uh, are two of the criteria. So we think the interpretation is all right when the court says, okay, so you've done this, 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 and does it actually uh, intrude on the person? Does it actually meet the criteria? Are you accepting that there's an implied right privacy in the Constitution? And we say that the reason is that even if there is an implied right, we should not make it explicit. Because making it explicit and having a separate right of its own, it makes it completely absolute in that it must always be applied, as compared to if it is, if there really is an implied right. The proposition's case has been about protecting people against the government, against companies, against each other. So I'll sum up this debate by taking a look at three forms of protection. Protection against the government, protection against companies, and last of all, protection against radical change. In, in the interest of making our constitution truly symbolic of Singaporean society, truly symbolic of the democracy we are, go with team proposition. The separation of powers we stand for is precisely what best protects individuals from the government.